All right, guys, continuing our Meant for Knife series with you guys. Here is the Proxima for Meant for Knife and Tool. I'm diving deep into Medford's, guys. I am soaking wet and I'm about to get even wetter. Yeah, I know. That's what she said. Before we get started guys, a shout out to Knife Delights, okay, he sent me some stickers, good guy, my, my boy Tom, okay, if you can see those, focus right there, there you go, Knife Delights, thanks for the stickers Tom, I'm going to put a, uh, a link to his channel, if you can go out and give him some love, uh, the name Knife Delights, I mean, it's pretty kind of, it's kind of cool, it's like kind of going to like a desserts and candy shop type of thing, but with knives, so it just makes it all that sweeter, so uh, definitely check him out has a passion for knives, check out his channel, I'll put him into the links. And Tom, thank you for the stickers, buddy. I know I owe you some stickers. I owe a lot of people some stickers. Awareness to all vets, hashtag 22 a day no more. We're trying to get veteran suicide down to zero and we can do that by growing awareness on this channel and throughout the entire knife community. Uh, reach out to a veteran, tell them, let them know you care, let them know how special they are to you. Okay guys, so this is the Proximate from Medford Knife and Tool. Let's check it out. You hear that thud? Yeah, it's, it's a heavy knife. It's definitely a heavy knife. What I noticed right off the bat, I mean, beautiful titanium liners. This, uh, this shiny type of texture on the titanium liners, while it's pretty when it's clean, it definitely can be a fingerprint magnet. And you also can see a couple of little sur surface scratches. I mean, this has been used, obviously, from JR. So there's a couple of little surface scratches that come up, but only if you really, really hold it into light. If not, you keep this thing clean. It's got a nice, really lustrous look to it. But like I said, it is a fingerprint magnet. What the other thing that I noticed about this type of finish is the fact that it's, uh, if you have wet hands, this can get a little slippery because it doesn't really have that much texture. So uh, without, you know, without your hands being wet, it, there's definitely a lot of grip to it. There's not too much of a problem, but uh, with wet hands, it might be an issue with this slipping out of your hands. So that may be something to consider when you pick the scales, uh, because there are obviously all different options for scales for the Proxima. So when you do pick the scales, you may keep that into consideration that um, it, may not, it may be a little too smooth and may slip with wet hands. Now, this is a flipper tab. I think it's a very attractive knife. For some people, the flipper tab might be a little too pronounced, a little too exaggerated, I've heard, uh, because when you do open it, it has a nice lockup, nice sound that the Medfords make when you open them up. It does get a little bit um, protruded. It protrudes out a little bit too much than people like. I think that really adds to the whole aesthetic of the knife for the most part. I think pretty much that's what they were going for to have this really pronounced uh, type of uh, flipper tab here. But some might think that it's a little too pronounced and they, want, they would want it a little finer. So again, that's something you may want to look at in uh, considering this knife. But overall look of it, I think is beautiful. You know, drop point blade. I love the, uh, the grinding of the blade, uh, the, uh, the grinds on the top and the bottom are pretty much the same with a different type of grinding here with the cutout. Now this doesn't really serve as uh, something you could open it like a, like a spidey flick like the other uh, Medford knives. Uh, you can manually open it, but you can't kind of really get enough, well actually you can, you can get enough real estate with your thumb that you can kind of open it up here with your hands without using the flipper tab if you don't want to. But the whole fun of this guys is just kind of just to flip this thing open. I mean, it's just, it's definitely a fidget. Uh, a lot of fun in fidgeting with this knife. I found myself kind of just playing with this knife, fidgeting with it, finding way, situations where I would want to kind of flip it open and open it and play with it a little bit. So it's definitely a lot of fun to kind of flip this thing open and it has that really nice Medford sound to it, okay? Let me actually get it closer to the mic. There you go, without cutting my throat. Uh, really nice Medford sound to it uh, when you open and close it. What I notice also when you close it, it's got obviously it's a solid lock up titanium frame lock. When you close it up, if you can see it here, it kind of just, the flipper tab kind of also protects your thumb. So it has a little bit more of a safety feature to not kind of close up the, the, uh, the blade on your, uh, on your fingers. And then you could kind of move it out of place and close it. So it's, uh, you can, one hand operation guys, this thing is phenomenally good. Probably the best of the Medfords in terms of a one hand operation. 
Uh, absolutely no problem. A lot of safety precautions with this flipper tab being so protruded as much as it is. That may have been a purpose for it. And um, yeah, because uh, like I said, I mean, this thing is so damn sharp. Factory edge is so damn sharp. But you don't want to have this basically turn into a guillotine of debt, you know, against your thumb or your fingers there. So I actually appreciate that flipper tab being a little bit more protruded so it does protect your thumb a little bit. But other than that, guys, it's uh, that's it, man. It's a thick really thick stock titanium stock uh the weight of this weight of this comes in at about eight and a quarter ounces okay it's a pretty much around the same weight of uh the 187 exactly to the to the money eight and a quarter uh ounces uh for the for this uh, proxima so it's a pretty much um it's a heavy knife not their heaviest knife and it's not their biggest blade so you're able to get this for a little bit cheaper in terms of a, a price point. Like I, uh, I'll show you on the specs, but this came in uh, uh, under $600 at Blade HQ. Of course, it's out of stock, uh, depending on the frame and what you choose. Um, you know, the black, uh, this, this particular one, I think, was around $650. Uh, JR gave it to me. I'm not sure where he got it, but I think this retailed at around $650 with the options he put on it with the black hardware and the frame and this, that, and the other thing. Uh, so, but you can probably get this so for under 600 bucks if you shop around a little bit for it. And if you, you know, you still get the lifetime warranty, okay, from owner to owner that you get from Medford, which is absolutely phenomenal. And it's, it, they really back their products. That's what you pay for with an American knife is just the backing of the company, you know, lifetime on their knives. The solidity of this Medford knife compared to all of the other Medford knives I had in my hand is pretty much consistent to all of them. You definitely hold this in your hand, you know how solid it is, and you know this thing is gonna be with you for life. The overall length is about 8.75 inches. The blade comes in at about 3.8 inches. The cutting edge is at about 3.6. The blade width is a very hefty 1.25 inches. It's got a thickness of uh, 0.19. A blade material is at CPM, S35EN. Excellent edge retention, excellent corrosion resistance. The style of the blade is a drop point blade. It's a hollow blade grind. The finish is stone wash. The handle comes in at around 4.875 inches. It's a powerful frame lock. The thickness of the frame is uh, 0.62 inches, it's definitely hefty, and it's, uh, it's just a solid, heavy-duty titanium frame. You can feel it, you know it's there, you know it's in your hand, you know it's a Medford. It's a right-hand carry, tip-up, pretty much constant with a lot of Medford knives, and it's uh, USA born and sold. It comes in at around $650 on Medford site. It can go up depending on the handle scales that you choose. And I found it at Blade HQ for around $575 uh, with the whatever package they give you on there, but I'm sure it can go up. But uh, generally you can get this knife for under $600 because the blade is not as hefty as some of the other big uh, folders that I showed you from Medford. If you guys can get past the protruding thumb stud, which I really think that it kind of just adds to the look of the whole knife uh one thing also about the thumb stud though being a little bit longer making the knife a little bit wider it's not as comfortable as a carry as some of the other knives that are a little bit sleeker in terms of the width uh so keep that into consideration with this knife as well guys you see what the, the other men for knives do they pretty much all have the same type of performance they all have the same type of construction same type of edge profile with the s35vn uh, this has some great, great edge retention. This is a factory edge and it's screaming, screaming sharp. So I'll show you some simple cutting demonstrations here. Again, this is uh, some heavy duty electrical cord. I'm gonna do some push, push cuts against the wood here. I don't have my stump, but you can see basically it goes through with no problem. I'll cut up some wood for you. And I expect this to be a little bit better because the sharpness level of it. Yeah, it's definitely good. You can definitely see how it kind of just gets in, feather stick in the wood. I mean, it's really, really very, very comfortable in the hand. No hot spots. I like the jimp in here and everything. Okay, without making too much of a mess, there's your cutting of wood, okay? Here is some uh, camping uh, camping cordage here, camping uh, rope cordage here, whatever the hell you want to call it. There's some camp cordage here. Again, go through with no problem. Very, very sharp, okay? It's a very, very good cutting knife. From what I understand, this hasn't, this is factory edge. This hasn't been sharpened by JR and he has used it. Uh, so uh, this is pretty much coming, you know, it's it's a used knife and it's a factory edge at 35 VN. That was bad on my end. You can see, it's just 
very, very, very sharp edge. Really impressive, the edges that you get with these Medford knives. Very, very cool. Very impressed what I'm seeing with the cutting performance of all these Medford knives. There's nearly not much of a need to go too crazy with this because all the knives, I gotta tell you, really perform the same. If you wanna see more cutting tests on these Medford knives, please note my previous two videos because I did a lot more cutting with them, but just to show you that it kind of really handles materials the same way and it always stays comfortable in the hand, no hot spots, very firm, comfortable, a lot of real estate in the grip, solid, and guys, this knife is for life. And there you have it, guys. This is the Proxima. I hope you enjoy it. It's, it's a solid knife, guys. You hold this into your hand. You know it's solid. You know this thing is going to be with you for life. That's what you pay for when you pay for American quality. So I hope you enjoyed it, guys. So my next match for knife. I'll see you when I see you. Peace out. Love, respect to you all. Later.